everyone, welcome to an all new VTVE show. I'm Gabby Bello. And I'm Raven Davis. Today we have a lot planned for you. We have the scoop with information on turnabout tickets, the flu virus, and so much more. But before we get into that, let's see who's celebrating a birthday today. Now, over the past few weeks, there's been a flu going around. I can affirm to that because I had the flu a few days ago. And well, no worries. <laughs> TV has you covered on some ways to prevent the flu and tips on staying healthy. Let's check it out. Have you been sick lately? If you have been, you are not alone. Doctors are saying the number of people getting the flu this winter is bigger than we've seen in decades, and it's only going to get worse. It may sound simple, but washing your hands is one of the easiest ways to prevent the spread of germs. Make sure you use soap and wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. HF has numerous hand sanitizer dispensers located on the walls around the hallways. Don't be afraid to use them. So if you cough, sneeze, or even come in contact with someone, grab a quick squirt. It's better to be safe than sorry when it comes to the flu this season. So keep these simple tips in mind and take care of yourself this winter season. Seriously folks, those were simple tricks that we all need to follow during this flu season to ensure that everyone stays healthy. We continue this month with the school's push for our Viking values. This month we look at the value of awareness. Here is a little scenario to give you insight on just what we're talking about. I can't believe you did this to uh, Punk Marcus. He literally cried like a little girl. <laughs> Tomorrow we should do it again, but right before he sits down with his train. What's the matter with you guys? What do you ever do to you? Just leave him alone. He's a nice kid. Whatever. Is he your new best friend now? You're going to hang out with him this weekend? <laughs> Loser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Sellers. Uh -huh. Hey. What's so funny? Sellers, you're a world star. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Hey Marcus, let me buy your lunch today. Why, so you can embarrass me? I know you're friends with those idiots. No, not at all. How about I buy you lunch today, you buy me lunch tomorrow. Come sit with me over here. Really? Sure, you playing the game this weekend? Yeah, you coming? Probably not, I don't like going to games. Whatever, you can come with me if you're interested. Sure, but are those guys coming? No, I don't think I'll be going to any more games with them. Help out a friend, put a stop to bullying, and be the change. Now that we understand what awareness is, we hope this segment changed your mind on what awareness is and how you should approach it. But now, let's hear what HF students think about awareness. I think awareness is being cognizant and knowing what goes on around you, knowing situations that are occurring around you and situations that are occurring in society. Um, to me, being aware is being alert and vigilant all the time of your surroundings. I think it's important to be aware of your surroundings so that you don't make yourself a target and that you don't make yourself vulnerable. Being aware of your situations when you're out in public could be something as simple as not keeping your face down in a phone or having both headphones in because you're lacking awareness of what's going on around you and things like that make you a target and you don't even know it. You should always be aware of your surroundings because you never want to get caught off guard or anything like that. I think one of the biggest situations where high school students need to be aware um, is when they're driving, when they're behind the wheel. You see a lot of times when you're driving to and from school or driving to and from work, people that have a phone in their hand and they're not aware of what's going on in front of them, what's going on on either side of them, what's going on behind them. Um, and I think that's one of the situations where a lack of awareness causes harm to other people. You should always be alert during high risk activities like driving or when you're in a highly populated area. 
Yeah. All right, moving along, Turnabout is coming very soon, so make sure you get your tickets now. Here's a little information you need to know about the dance and the tickets. Howdy, y'all! Timothy McMiller here with yet another offer for you. As you all know, Turnabout is February the 24th, and tickets are on sale at the campus door. Be there! I'm really excited for Turnabout. I went last year and it was super fun, so I just know it's going to be even better this year. You guys should go. We're so excited to go to Turnabout because the food is good and the music is great. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm going to keep going. I'm excited to go to Turnabout because I got nominated for Turnabout Prince and just hoping I win, you know? You know? So last year was very fun. I was the sophomore class president, so I was able to plan the turnaround dance. I encourage you all to go because it is a very fun event. You can hang out with your friends, great music, great food, and a great experience. Buy yours, put some nice clothes on, and head over to Tuscany Falls February 24th from 8 to 11 p.m. See you on the red carpet. All right, that's all we have for you guys today. But we will see you guys soon for an all new episode of the VTV E Show. From us and everyone else here at VTV, have a great rest of your day, HF. All right, that's all we have for you guys today. <laughs> Who's never start yet? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well.